Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're out for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Maneater for the, the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode, and I am running at 720p on the lowest preset with shadows disabled. It definitely helps when you're playing on a low-end hardware, but this game is very playable. It's free on Epic today, so I did decided to do a benchmark on it. You can go get it right now, man. Stuff's cool for like a minute or something, then you then I'd imagine you'd get quite bored. Not my cup of tea. Nonetheless, like I said, 720p low if shadow is off. And I am using the Vulcan backend. That's right, I'm using DXVK for some extra performance in the game. Um, unfortunately, I feel like the copying process for me didn't work correctly. <laughs> so I couldn't run it with DirectX 11, my bad. It just kept crashing on me. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to use Vulcan and get more performance out of it anyway. So we're using the XVK just to get some extra performance with the Vulcan backend. Now this can be a double-edged sword. In my case, it probably is. Probably is in my case. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark. This bull because it has to load in shaders. So once it loads in shaders, and it also uses a lot of RAM. As you can see, we're basically bordering on on 10 gigs of RAM right now. It's crazy. We're bordering on 10 gigs of RAM. Uh, if you wanted to see the DX11 version though, you can check out my Intel HD 4600 video on it. I ran that one with it and it ran fine, 720p 30fps. But I do believe with Vulcan it does run a bit better because it's doing over 40 here. In certain years when I'm not destroying everything. So I do imagine Vulcan is running well. This is one of those games where the lowest resolution is 1024 by 768 which didn't bother me because like I said everything here ran properly the only reason I'm getting stutters is because I'm using the Vulcan backend if you weren't I'd imagine this is quite playable uh, it needs to build in a shader cache after a while it's gonna stop doing that but after a while I just need to build in the shaders which is definitely the 16 gigs of RAM definitely helps you need RAM to get Vulcan to run uh, I do not recommend doing this like I said the only reason I'm doing this is because I tried to copy it across to another computer and something went wrong so it didn't work with the Intel HD 620 only reason I'm pretty sure this runs with the X11 I could be wrong though wouldn't it be funny if I was wrong? But as you can see, you see as I keep going, things do, things do, it stops. It'll stop after a while and it just builds in. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. I bet he is. I bet he is. Wait, what? I only have to do this for the RS570 next and I'm done. So yeah, you can run this game at 720p. Low. It'll run. I'm sorry, little turtle. Damn. I was kind of hoping you'd hold out. Got it. But anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys enjoy seeing me play games on the Intel HD 620, the Iris 540, or the 4600, or even the RX 570, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I basically test everything and any and everything on the channel, so yeah. And I post like 10, maybe 15 times a day. Sometimes it's crazy. I have a very high work rate. <laughs> With these games, we just crank them out sometimes. We just crank them out. But this one, it runs fine. This can run at 30 FPS on all of my systems. So there's not much for me to tweak. There's nothing for me to tweak. If I can run the game at 30, I don't bother to tweak it. Because why? Especially if I have breathing room with settings. So the game will run. 
CPU usage is a bit of a, is a, is a scary thing, but nonetheless, the game is running. So once again, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just going to mute myself now, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. You think these people here will try to get, try to get away from me, huh? But I'm a shark, so what are they going to do? I mean, what what is this game? This game gives... I, I'm already afraid to go in the ocean as it is. What What is this game? This game just gives me nightmares, guys. Like, who makes a game like this? Why? I don't, I don't, I don't find this fun at all. I am like, what? I don't want to go in the ocean now. I'll see you guys again. Scientists have hypothesized that sharks can mistake boats for a whale or some other large creature. That it must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? Making a lot of splashes. 